Hey everyone, welcome back to the episode 3 of Node.js MVC tutorial. So today we're going to talk about the NPM scripting and we're going to make it simple and I guess short too. So in the previous video what we have done is we have used Node.bond to start the server so every time we we we'll try to start the server we have to type Node.bond and then index.js telling Node.bond to run and watch index.js and its related files. But instead, uh, we're gonna follow a uh, better ap approach. So instead of typing nodemon index.js every time to start the server, we would follow a common node pattern to start the server, and we would use npm script for that. So we're gonna write a new npm uh, start command in the package.json file, and it's a whole lot simpler than it sounds. So let's get started and do the thing in our uh, project project directory there there is a package.json file simply go to that file and uh, take a look at the scripts property so it takes another object and we can write uh, and we can add a new property here called start so let's do that so uh, start so here I start is a command that we will be utilizing so we were gonna say that npm uh, npm start so npm start w would uh, uh, run uh, the command that we uh, write in in here as a string and now what we have to do we, we need to add the comment so the comment for uh, this is was to node mon index.js and now if you save that and if you want to go in the terminal, I'm going to open that uh, control backtick that will open up the terminal. I'm going to clean up the terminal. And now if I say npm start, uh, it's not, it's running the nodemon. We, we are using the globally installed version of nodemon in here. Now if we want to use the uh, locally installed version of nodemon, we can also do that. So if you take a look at the node modules, there is a directory called .bin. For, kind of stands for binary I don't know and if you click on that there is a uh, there is a nodemon binary file or something like that so if you cannot find this in here probably not then what you have to do in here is to type in here npm install uh, nodemon and then say save and uh, we can also save it as a dev, dev requirement so it's now downloading nodemon and it's installing nodemon for us Okay, so Nodemon is now installed, and now we're gonna utilize the locally installed version of Nodemon instead of using the globally installed Nodemon. So uh, let's do this, and uh, you need to tell it this path to reach the Nodemon binary that we have installed locally. So to do that, we're gonna have to say dot slash node modules, node modules, and then inside the dot bin directory, and then inside, and then the Nodemon that we have here, have there. So node underscore modules and dot bin and then not mod. Save that and now say npm start here. Um, npm start and that hopefully yes and that is utilizing the locally installed node mod and we are all we are doing is the npm start so that makes a whole lot i i believe it's it's a really awesome thing to do while you start uh, creating the app typing node mod every time it's kind of like a kind of like something that very not necessarily important or not necessary at all so in the next episode we're going to talk about uh, setting up the routes and controller using express.js framework so stay tuned and if it helps don't forget to subscribe your subscribes inspire me a lot to do more and uh, hopefully talk to you guys later all right i forgot to check the server yes it worked